Hi everyone, it's me again. Uh, welcome to Mama's Review Corner. <laughs> I just have a few things to talk to you about today. Uh, the first thing I have is Disney's or Disney Nature's Bears. And I really enjoyed this movie. Um, every once in a while I like to watch, you know, nature type movies. And this one was really good. It's, you know, gives you kind of a uh, inside look at brown bears and their natural habitat and they kind of turned it into a story so it makes it a little more personal a little more interesting uh, it's about a mother and her two cubs the mother's name is Skye and her two cubs are Scout and Amber and it follows them from you know winter's end as they get up out of hibernation all the way through summer and you know back again to winter time and to me it's just incredible the journey these bears take from like i say where they hibernated all the way to an alaskan shore where they feast on salmon and i guess i knew bears like fish but they like salmon. I didn't know that. I like salmon too. Yum, sushi. But anyway, I really enjoyed this because, like I said, because they named the bears, it made it more personal and you were, cons you know, concerned when the cubs were threatened. And that's another thing that's very interesting. I didn't realize that other brown bears, if they're hungry, and this, are, this re uh, is regarding the male, if he's really hungry, he will track down and try to eat a mother's cub or cubs oh my word it's like feasting on your own kind ah brown bear cannibalism i never knew but i would like you know i like this movie a lot uh if you're interested in nature movies this one is really really good i'd pick it up if i were you kept me interested and i think it's only about 70 80 minutes something like that Alrighty, and the next one is called Railway Man and I love these kind of movies. I love anything that's based on a true story or is a true story and this is based on the autobiography of Eric Lomax who was a British uh, officer in World War II who, who was captured by the Japanese and sent to a POW camp where he worked on the Thai Burma Railway and it was just interesting because he himself, you know, before he ever shipped out, was interested in trains and railways and this type of thing. Well, what happens in this movie is that, you know, decades later when he's, you know, been home in England and, you know, gone to his daily job and does things, um, he ends up marrying a, a young woman that he meets on a train, <laughs> oddly enough. And um, he starts, like, re-experiencing the traumas that happened to him during World War One and the POW—I mean World War II and the POW camp—and he is finally told by one of the survivors of his group that the interpreter that was responsible for most of his torture is still alive and is still at the POW camp, which is now a museum, and he's like profiting off of this. And this, you know, Mr. Lomax is just like, oh my God. And so he uh, goes to Japan to confront this fellow. I, I don't want to tell you what happens because that would kind of ruin the whole thing. But it's a great story. I love autobi it's an autobiography. So this is absolutely true what happened. I'm sure they Hollywood up a few scenes, but you know, uh, I really enjoyed it. I'd pick it up if I were you. All right, guys. And next up, is another true story. It's, it stars Haley Bear, Holly Berry and it's called Frankie and Alice and it's about an, uh, an African-American go-go dancer named Frankie who eventually through blackouts and finally ending up in hospitals finds out that she has disassociative identity disorder and I guess that's what they call multiple personalities or they used to call that she has you know two other personalities in her and that vie for you know the main position as it were and it's extremely interesting she meets a psychologist who is mainly a researcher but he wants he, he finds her so interesting that he takes her on as a patient throughout the movie you discover bits and pieces of her personality and p sometimes where she got them from. Now, 
I like this movie, but some things were that I thought should have been explained were kind of left unexplained. And some things I needed to know more about to understand. However, I really did like this movie. Holly Berry is great. I liked it. If you like Holly Berry, she's terrific in this like she is in everything else she does. Alrighty, and next up is the movie Around the Block starring Christina Ricci. Now, I don't know if any of you are Christina Ricci fans, but everyone in this house, including Brendan, is a great Christina Ricci fan. Uh, she stars as a drama teacher who moves to Australia to be with her fiance and ends up teaching at an Aboriginal school in the area. And it's about her trials and tribulations with the students and with her boyfriend who was racist. And uh, I really liked this movie. Uh, the young man who plays the primary student in her class it was really excellent. Uh, in their class, they're going to do the production Ham of Shakespeare's Hamlet. And I thought that was very well done because you didn't really see it come together. You just saw bits and pieces of rehearsal. Hamlet can be done in any style, you know, the original Shakespearean style with the Shakespearean costumes. And it's been done, you know, in the modern version with suits, ties, that type of thing. Well, this version I thought was extremely good. It, it ended up being sort of an Aboriginal tribe type Hamlet. And it helps this young boy, or she helps this young boy in the movie, not go down the wrong path. His brother's just, you know, a criminal beyond belief. Why is that? Because his father was. And he goes to avenge his father, and the young boy gets caught up in it. Anyway, I don't want to tell you uh, everything about the movie. I would just pick this up if I were you. And the last thing I have for you today, and as you all know, I love my TV series. Well, this one is Under the Dome, based on a Stephen King novel. And I'm not usually, a, or I don't know or experience much of Stephen King's things, basically, but I know I like The Fog. So I thought I'd just try this. Whoa! Because like I say, I'm not a great science fiction fan, but this is really good. I'm already on, I think, the third disc. <laughs> great premise when it happens you're like whoa what the heck is going on you know and I can't wait till the end to, you know, like I say all the intrigue on in the town that's got the dome over it and all the other uh, characters and everything in it are great under the dome it's a great show guys I really like it and by the way if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know maybe in the comment box what you thought all right See you next time.